I figured it out. Hello everyone, previously I made a tutorial about how to have Reaper export MP4s, which is still a thing that I was really glad to have learned, but it didn't help me with my problem, which was how do I get videos onto Twitter without having to do a bunch of extra steps? And I figured it out. This time I actually actually have to shout out for realsies, Logan Harden, who helped me with a lot of this. We figured it out together, I think, but he did help me a lot. So thank you, Logan. The problem that Twitter has is that it has a very specific need on which codex. The codex needed is H264. Reaper does not have it innately, but in this tutorial, I will teach you how to download it and install it properly. Once you get it in there, it's so simple. The first thing that you need to do is in Reaper, you need to go to options and then go down to show Reaper resource path and explore and finder. That's going to be all the way down here. You click that, it should open this window. We'll come back to this later. The next thing you need to do is that you need to go to this website. I'm going to include a link, but it's OTTverse. Click, I don't know any of these I'm told, but I clicked this first one and specifically shared. Once you do, it will download a zip file. Once you have the zip folder downloaded, you can extract everything. I'm just going to do that, extract all. Once you're in the extract folder, go to the bins, copy everything in here. And then we're going to go to the other window that we already opened, which is in Reaper. And we go to user plugins, paste, and we're good. You can now close out of this. After you moved all the files into the user plugins folder, you need to restart Reaper. Here I have a video of me playing a brass clarinet. It's terrible, but we're going to render it into a Twitter ready video. So click Control Alt R. It's gonna bring up the render window. And here we have, I already set it to the format, video FFmpeg, and then the format QT slash MOV slash MP4. The video codec is what matters, not MP4 versus MOV. The fact that it's H.264. Normally it will default to MJPEG. Now that you have the new files in though, it might default to H.264. Here is where I was stuck for a while. When I would render it, it would also default to AAC. Now what's interesting is Twitter says that you need an AAC audio codec, but it's wrong. What I have it set to is 16-bit PCM. Strangely enough, trying to render it with an AAC audio codec produces no sound. I have no idea why, but we're going to render this right here right now. So I already pre-wrote this tweet. Right here, I have both an MOV and an MP4 version. Just to prove my point, I'm going to upload an MOV version, and we're just going to tweet this, and we're going to test the audio right here, right now, when it's done uploading. All right, and here's the video. And we're not going to listen to more of it because it sounds terrible. But as you can see, there was some sound. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful. It took me several weeks to get this down, but I'm really, 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 really glad that I figured it out. I hope this is helpful to anyone, everyone. Again, thank you to Logan Harden. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, the biggest thing, honestly, is just share it with other people because frankly, I spent so many hours just spending all this time trying to just convert the video. And when you feed it into Handbrake, the video just becomes more compressed and at Worse, the audio just gets even more garbled up. And if you're using Reaper, chances are you're an audio person anyway. So it's so, so frustrating. And I'm so glad to have figured this out. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day and a far painless adventure than I had.